going platinum in streams. There's a new thing where you can go platinum with streams. Before, you had to actually have a million sales to go platinum. A million. If you sell a million singles, you have a platinum single. If you sell a million albums, you have a platinum album. If you sell 10 million albums or singles, that's considered what they call diamond, going diamond. A lot of people don't go diamond. There's only a few albums that went diamond. I don't know how many exactly. I have to look up the exact number, but a lot of people never sold over 10 million of a song, of a particular song or a particular album. There are artists who've done 100 million collectively, but one album, a particular album, a song, that's rare that you go diamond. That's the biggest, one of the biggest uh, accomplishments you can achieve as a songwriter, artist, producer, whatever, going diamonds. Selling a half a million is considered going gold, and that applies for single or an album. The RIAA, which is the Recording Industry Association of America, they're the ones who certify albums in the U- United States, whether they went platinum or whether they went gold or whether they went diamonds. And they had to create a new standard when streaming became the major source of music consumption. So they had to include the streaming equivalent and they had to come up with some way to gauge, okay, if someone listened to a song a million times or if a song is streamed a million times, how much is that the equivalent of someone actually buying a song or buying one song or buying one album? So the formula that they came up with was before, a few years ago, it was 100 streams equaled one song download but now they changed it to 150 streams equals one song download and one song download on the itunes store or most online stores that sell downloads are it's 99 cents per download or and then they change it to a dollar 29 they later changed the price to a dollar 29 when artists started complaining that they weren't getting paid enough money which Artists always do. Artists always going to complain about them not getting paid enough. So Apple or iTunes, which was one of the first major online music retailers, they went from selling the downloads to 99 cents to 129. So as far as streams goes, you have to achieve 150 streams to just get one to, to for it to be counted as one song download. So it would take someone listening to your song 150 times for you to make 99 cents or $1.29 or somewhere in between there. As far as albums go, it takes 1,500 streams for for it to be considered one album sale. So that means someone has to literally listen to, and it doesn't matter if someone listens to all the songs on the album. If someone listens to one, you know, one single on the album, and it's they listen to it fifteen hundred times, that's considered an album sell. They don't care if people listen to every song on the album uh, before. You had to actually buy the whole album a million times for it to be considered platinum. Now, someone could just like your your single, and if it accumulates fifteen hundred listens on that one single, that's considered an album sell. Multiply that times a million. And you have a platinum album. Like I said, it doesn't matter if someone didn't listen, if they didn't buy the whole album. If you if you end up getting 1.5 billion streams, I believe it is, then that's considered a platinum album. It doesn't matter if they just listen to that one song. But um, let me let me continue moving forward. So 1,500 streams equals an album sell. Album sell is 10 tracks. 10 tracks basically costs $9.99 in the online music stores. So 1,500 streams will get you the equivalent of $9.99 or about 10 bucks. It will take 1.5 billion streams for your album to be considered platinum in the streaming era. As far as the RIAA goes, it takes 1.5 billion streams of songs from your album or one particular song from your album or a collective 
whatever. It's going to take 1.5 billion streams from that particular project in order for the RIAA to consider your song platinum. They don't only count streams. They also count video plays. So if your video was streamed, at least in America, I don't know if the other countries, the other uh, foreign countries have stepped up to the plate and considered YouTube streams or video streams on certain websites eligible for platinum in their areas, but the United States music market is the biggest market, so it's the best barometer to gauge what's hot or what's whatever. So as far as the U.S. goes, they count YouTube streams. So let's say you didn't get any plays on Spotify or you didn't get any song downloads, but you got a song that did 150 million plays on YouTube. That's considered platinum as far as the new RIAA standard. 150 million streams equals a million sales. Whether you make the same amount from YouTube as you would if you actually sold the singles out the trunk of your car, that doesn't matter. That's, you know, that doesn't matter. It's all about the streams. The streams count now as a sell. A, a certain amount of streams count as a sell. And 75 million streams equal a gold record or a half a million singles sold as far as the RIAA gold standard. 150 million streams equal 1 million singles sold and 1.5 billion streams equal 1 million albums sold or platinum albums sold. There are a lot of artists going platinum now. Their albums are going platinum just because the collective amount of streams on the album equal 1.5 billion. And like I said, it doesn't matter if they listen to all the songs on the album. If they just listen to three songs and each of the songs got 25 million plays out of three songs, that's 75 million. You went gold. So that's the new standard. 